In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Alleluia. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. We offer our Mass this morning as we continue our journey through Eastertide in prayer today for all those who have lost their jobs and their income at this time and in particular for those who are struggling to feed themselves and their families. Let us call to mind our sins. Lord Jesus, we have lived by our own strength and not by the power of your resurrection. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, we have lived by the light of our own eyes as faithless and not believing. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, we have lived for this world alone and doubted our home in heaven. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy upon us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, Lord, we pray, that being rightly conformed to the Paschal Mysteries, what we celebrate in joy may protect and save us with your everlasting power. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The Apostles and Elders decided to choose delegates to send to Antioch with Paul and Barnabas. The whole church concurred with this. They chose Judas, known as Barnabas, and Silas, both leading men in the Brotherhood, and gave them this letter to take with them. The Apostles and Elders, your brothers, send greetings to the brothers of pagan birth in Antioch, Syria, and Cilicia. We hear that some of our members have disturbed you with their demands and have unsettled your minds. They acted without any authority from us, and so we have decided unanimously to elect delegates and to send them to you with Barnabas and Paul, men we highly respect, who have dedicated their lives to the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Accordingly, we are sending you Judas and Silas, who will confirm by word of mouth what we have written in this letter. It has been decided by the Holy Spirit and by ourselves not to saddle you with any burden beyond these essentials. You are to abstain from food sacrificed to idols, from blood, from the meat of strangled animals, and from fornication. Avoid these, and you will do what is right. Farewell. The party left and went down to Antioch, where they summoned the whole community and delivered the letter. The community read it and were delighted with the encouragement it gave them. This is the word of the Lord. The response to the psalm, I will thank you, Lord, among the peoples. I will thank you, Lord, among the peoples. My heart is ready, O God, my heart is ready. I will sing, I will sing your praise. Awake, my soul, awake, lyre and harp. I will awake the dawn. I will thank you, Lord, among the peoples. I will thank you, Lord, among the peoples. 
praise you among the nations, for your love reaches to the heavens and your truth to the skies. O God, arise above the heavens, may your glory shine on earth. I will thank you, Lord, among the peoples. Alleluia, alleluia. The sheep that belong to me listen to my voice, says the Lord. I know them, and they follow me. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. Hear the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, this is my commandment. Love one another as I have loved you. A man can have no greater love than to lay down his life for his friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. I shall not call you servants anymore because a servant does not know his master's business. I call you friends because I have made known to you everything I have learned from my Father. You did not choose me. No, I chose you, and I commissioned you to go out and to bear fruit, fruit that will last. And then the Father will give you anything you ask him in my name, is to love one another. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Let us pray. Let us pray this morning for all those who have lost their jobs, have lost their income, and are now deeply anxious and troubled. Pray for the many millions in the United Kingdom now claiming universal credit. For those who have no idea what their future will hold. For those panicking about how to pay their bills. especially for those who today will be hungry. For all who struggle to feed themselves and their families. We pray for school children in receipt of free school meals. system to support them may begin to work. And we pray that God will surround all those for whom we pray with the knowledge of his love, that they may have hope in their time of need. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And so we pray for all those who try to bring relief and aid to those in need at this time. We pray especially for God's blessing upon the many food banks in operation, for community initiatives to provide food for people. Here in Jersey, we pray for the work of the Grace Trust. We pray too for caring cooks, and for the Salvation Army. And here in St. Luke's, we pray for God's blessing upon the Romanian Kitchen Project that has been running from this church. We give thanks to God 
for the efforts of all who have worked here so hard. And we give thanks to God for the blessing of hot meals provided to those who need them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And let us now hold before the Lord those who are on our hearts today and who have asked for our prayers. We continue to pray for Cyril White, who is very ill. We give thanks that baby Jacob is steadily growing stronger. We pray for those who are in care homes and cannot see their loved ones at this time. Someone asks for God's blessing upon her marriage. And that she and her husband may be blessed with children. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we pray for the souls of those who have departed this life. Among those who have died recently, for Tony Hart, priest, We pray also for those who lost their lives yesterday in the battle with COVID-19. Rest eternal grant unto them, O Lord, and let light perpetual shine upon them. May they rest in peace. Amen. And now let us join together in praying for the life and work of our parishes. God our Father, through your Holy Spirit, you grow your church as we proclaim the kingdom of your risen Son. Bless us with a deepening faith and an increase in our community. Help us to be a beacon of your love to everyone we meet. We ask this through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Merciful Father, I accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ. Amen. May the peace of the risen Lord be always with you. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to set before you, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to set before you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that this, our sacrifice, may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. 
May the Lord accept this sacrifice at my hand for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his church. Merciful Lord, make holy these gifts and let our spiritual sacrifice make us an everlasting gift to you. We ask this in the name of Jesus, the Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Father, all-powerful and ever-living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks through Jesus Christ our Lord. We praise you with greater joy than ever in this Easter season when Christ became our Paschal sacrifice. In him, a new age has dawned. The long reign of sin is ended. A broken world has been renewed and we are once again made whole. The joy of the resurrection renews the whole world while the choirs of heaven sing forever to your glory. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are holy indeed, the source of all holiness. Grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit and according to your holy will, these gifts of bread and wine may be to us the body and blood of of our Lord Jesus Christ, who in the same night that he was betrayed took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. And so, Father, calling to mind his death on the cross, his perfect sacrifice made once for the sins of the whole world, rejoicing in his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension and looking for his coming in glory, we celebrate this memorial of our redemption. As we offer you this, our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, we bring before you this bread and this cup, and we thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. Send the Holy Spirit on your people, and gather into one in your kingdom all who share this one bread and one cup, so that we in the company of Mary, the Virgin Mother of God, St. Luke, St. James, and all the saints, may praise and glorify you forever, through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom, and with whom, and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours, Almighty Father, for ever and ever. Amen. As our Saviour has taught us, so we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread 
and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom the power and the glory for ever and ever amen we break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, because we all share in one bread. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. This is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and I shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, may this Eucharist which we have celebrated in memory of your Son help us to grow in love. We ask this in the name of Jesus, the Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. 
May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Joy to thee, O Queen of Heaven. Alleluia. He whom thou wast meet to bear. Alleluia. As he promised, hath arisen. Alleluia. Pour for us to God thy prayer. Alleluia. Rejoice and be glad, O Virgin Mary. Alleluia. For the Lord is risen indeed. Alleluia. Let us pray. O God, who by the resurrection of thy Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, has brought joy to the whole world, grant that through his mother, the Virgin Mary, we may obtain the joys of life everlasting, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. <laughs> 